I am Kissy Noodle. I have come back from the death to deliver a very important message. All of your builds are outdated. If you're following my channel and you use my builds or PvP, they're probably out of date. A lot of them have been created before the leader DLC. And ever since then, there's been a lot of new patch notes and a lot of new modifications that have changed the meta drastically in PvP. Well, not that drastically, because the builds are still pretty good, but you gotta do some minor adjustments. First of all, the buy limits. Now, the buy limits used to be 62 a month for minerals and 13 a month for alleys. This has gone out the window. It's very different now. Now for minerals, it's 40. For alleys, it's 10. And for other resources, I'll put them on screen. These limits are the ones I've tested. They might be different, but in my experience, when you have these limits for minerals and other resources, their market price doesn't actually change for the in-game market. For selling, they're also different. I don't know as many limits for selling, but basically the most important one is the food one. You used to be able to sell 80 food a month before the limit actually went up, but now it's 62 a month before the market price starts getting ruined. So take that into account. Another important thing is serving is a lot slower now, which means that you probably need to get a sign ship out and about a lot quicker. You want to get your military fleets to explore the systems around, since now if they have an admiral, they can do that. You can also do a strat where you divide the fleet in three and you explore with individual ships and you switch the admiral from ship to ship as they explore different systems. This way you make it more efficient. For traditions, domination is now actually super nice for just all consciousness, at least getting one point. It makes it so that you use less amenities. Prosperity is not that great anymore since the finisher effect got nerfed, so most people only grab the two points in it for the building cost reduction. And lastly, enmity is a really big deal since you get a lot of unity production, you also get ship cost reduction, more like research production, it's super nice. The next thing is the ascension perks. Now, Ascension perks and ascensions are a bit different now. Executive Vigor is not that great anymore because you can get Edict Cap from other places and Mastery of Nature then and Technology Ascendancy take their place as better ascension perks. For ascension paths, the main difference is Cybernetics is a much different deal, so take that into account, although it's still pretty good. And for the synthetic ascension for robots, I usually take modularity now because the other ascension paths don't really fit my builds that well, those being virtuality and the nanite bots ascension paths. For technologies, be on the lookout now for Dyson Spheres and Arc Furnaces. Well, not Dyson Spheres, my bad. Dyson Swarms. Dyson Swarms will give you a lot of energy, or whatever the star produces, multiply by a huge amount. Usually you want to do it with energy though. And for Arc Furnaces, these can produce a lot of alleys a month and minerals a month once you update them to the max rank. These are super nice, and if you can get them upgraded a few ranks at before year 30, you can get a huge advantage over someone else. Lastly, the leader update. Now, leaders have changed a lot. You can probably grab everything I said about leaders in my videos and throw it out the window because it's just not useful anymore. But the most important thing now is that for the government uh, creation screen and the ruler section, you want to click on the charismatic trait since it's a super nice trait to have. It increases your edict cap. And for your council positions, you want to do that too. You want to get the charismatic trait for all of them. For your planets, you want to have a scientist in the tech planets because now a scientist can actually govern planets and you want to have officials for the alley planets since scientists will have science traits and officials will have traits that increase the alley production if you're lucky enough, if you actually roll them. I hope this was useful and I hope it helps you update your builds so you can use my builds from older videos in more modern games.